Amsterdam with uh, Jared Padalecki, tall fellow from Supernatural. <laughs> Very and nice hair. Good, 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 good looking kid. And um, we're there and we're loading up, his wife's with us, and we're loading up bags. I have like a backpack. And it's like, they travel like it's the Queen's Jubilee celebration. They have like nine trunks. <laughs> and we're hurriedly, and for those, you know, who all travel here, I'm sure, the, those train doors close pretty precisely. They're not really waiting around for you. They're open, you get in there, you get crap in, then they close. So, we get on and we're hustling all the bags, hustling all the bags, and Jen's getting the seats, and we all sit down and we're like, phew. And the train starts to go. And Jen looks around and she goes, where's the silver bag? And he says, what? She says, where's the silver bag? And he's like, what did you I was like, oh shit. So he and I get up and run, and the door is open. And as we sit the door, it closes. And there's her bag. And so we're like, open, 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 open. No, 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 it's not open. The door's not open. No, and then we start to move. And we're moving. And you see a, another, we see a train worker walk up. And go, sees the tag, looks up, sees Jared going, that's my wife's bag, that's my wife's bag. And he's like, then. <laughs> so we're, we're moving, and, 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 and he and he go, okay, let's go, we'll just go tell the conductor or something. So we, I run up this way, and he does too, and there's no one in the, driving the train up there. Which already I thought, that's a terrible sign. <laughs> no one's driving the train! So we run back the other way, and meanwhile, there's a couple of people who recognize Jared from the show, and they're watching 6-7 Jared kind of like sprint through the train. <laughs> <laughs> Running around, he's looking back like, couldn't find anybody. So we go back to the door, we're looking for things to try to do, because now we're out of the station, and we don't know what's going on. So finally, I see something that says, push to stop. And I go, well, I'm pushing, I'm like, nah, it's not, it's behind glass. It, we, can't, we can't push to stop it. It's like, I guess it's an emergency thing. And he goes, huh? Bash! And he punches it. And it shatters and hits the button and brings the whole effing train to a screeching halt where literally, like, people fly forward and spill their crap. And, you know, so the whole thing goes forward. Big alarm. And I'm sitting there going, I should check on Jen. Let's be sure she's okay. So Jen's right there going, sweet merciful crap. And Jared's like, I stopped all the train. I stopped the train. Conductors come running back. Sure, now they show up, the conductors. Running back and they're like, what happened? First of all, there's a there's like a British guy in the scene. He goes, that was a very big mistake, young man. We're like, thanks, Jeeves. And then, here comes a training personnel. They run down, they come down, and they go, Who did that? Who did that? And they go, I did. What's wrong? Why did you hit the emergency button? Why did you stop the train? They're looking around, clearly, they're looking around for somebody in cardiac arrest. Or something terrible is going on. They're looking for the blood pouring out of his body. And he says, My wife's bag is on the platform. And they literally were... <laughs> Much like your reaction to Matt saying that he plays a detective whose boner solves crime. And who knows, like... There's from Amsterdam, they probably thought, I misunderstood that, because I thought this jackhole just stopped the train for a suitcase. Let me double check that. They said, what the hell is he? My wife's bad. It's right back there. And he said, Sir, you stopped the train for your wife's bag? He said, Well, it's a really nice bag. It's too many. He's got some stuff in it. I didn't mean to stop the train. And they go, Well, you didn't just stop the train. You stopped all the trains in Northern Europe. Because when you stop one train, they all have to stop. So the trains don't run into each other. So, for your wife's suitcase, everyone's going to miss work. Planes aren't going to take off on time. No one knows what's going on. Good 
conductors are on the line going, you live at two to And he goes, oh, I'm sorry. And they were like, well, this is going to cost you. This is going to cost you big. I'm telling you that right now. He's like, okay. And literally, he came back to his seat, and he's sitting down. He's sitting down, and you know, the train officials are saying this is going to cost you. You're thinking, this is going to, this is going to be bad. I'm thinking, you know, what can I sell? I'll probably have to, you know, offer my services in some way to help pay this thing off. Um, they come back for starting, and he's sweating bullets. He's like, oh crap, you know, he's got a bloody knuckle, and he's sitting there, and. <laughs> It, there's some. There's always at that moment that some like fan walks up and goes, and as you guys know, Jared Jensen, super nice guys. It was just so funny to see him going, no, no. If you want, you want my picture, let me get with you. But don't take my picture right now. I'm very upset right now. I'm trying to figure out what's going on right now. And he went back over and got our picture with her. Like, he, he did the right thing. But just for that split second, he was trying to hear what's going What? How much he's going to pay for this giant mistake. And they bring the team of people back. And they say, it is expensive, sir. And I'm sorry, we're going to need you to make, pay now or figure out how you're going to pay this. Because this has to be solved. It has to be solved right now. He's like, all right. What, what, what do I have to do with spilling? They're like, it's 100 euros. <laughs> And you see Jared process it like you're screwing with me, right? But then you also see him say to himself, I don't want to say you're screwing with me, right? Because then they'll get insulted and something bad will happen. I don't know why my Jared sounds like Keanu Reeves, but just go with it. Just go with it. This one. So he, he internalizes it and plays the bit. He's like, Wow. A hundred euros? Like, yeah, sir, a hundred euros. We're gonna need to pay right now. And he's like, oh, God. He digs up, you know, a hundred euros and pays it off. And he's like, there you go. And the button to the story. So we get, the train moves on, we, and, and Jen gets off to get the bag and meets us in Amsterdam, so all, all that's fine. It was, when we all arrived, we were all in, in Europe for, we were doing a convention in England, uh, in Birmingham, and then doing a convention in Germany. So we were, it was the week we had off, that we all traveled in various places. So we all tell this story when we get to Germany. And we were telling the story in the green room, and Mark Shepard goes, You're the asshole that made me miss my connection? Somewhere Mark was in Northern England and all the trains stopped and he like screwed up his vacation and he's thinking there was a train wreck and there was a train wreck. It just happened to be 6'4 with flowing water on air. That's my train story. <laughs>